All right, so we are still upside down here, so I need to get back to the garage. Repair the tr Oh, that's that one. No, oh, I needed to go to the garage. Come on, give me to the garage. And, like I said, I had a plan. So let's get there. She's not fast, isn't she? Yeah, this is going to take a while. Um, I'll see you guys there. All right, so here we are backing into it. Because it's quite literally uh, the best way to do it currently. Um, because most of the weight is at the front currently for this truck. And yeah, it needs a lot of pulling weight. Needs a lot of pulling power to get out of there. Alright, handbrake on. Can't reach yet. Alright. Can we reach now? Not yet. Now we should be able to reach. There we go. Why are you not attached? Attach, dang it. And pull. Gotcha. Now, this truck will bring itself back up. And move the scoot out of the way. Stop the engine, go to the White Western Star. Uh, let's see, how am I going to fix myself to get out of here? Uh, this was a drama the first time around and why did I have to do it another time? Uh, reverse, diff lock. My God. Uh, you know what? Let's first of, let's first try and green mode this trailer a little bit. Make life easier on ourselves. Um. Like that. Then restore the crane. Then in low plus, reverse yourself. Let's make this turn, come on. Now we can use the crane again. That's a tree. Oh, we went through the tree. Get back on your wheels. Come on. Come on, dude. Don't be so annoying. Um, crane. As 
high as possible. We can clear the trees. There we go. Glitch through the trees, please. Thank you. Now I can lower. Um, this is an issue. A big issue. So we cannot use the crane here. Um, right. Have to f turn the crane here. Because there's space. Uh, crane. Said green. Oh, what a nightmare this is. And reverse. Well, let's take this road. It's easier. Climb is easier. Uh, uh, uh. Let's be smart. Take this road. Climb is easier, he said. Smart ass. And get over the hump, get over the hump, get over the hump. Hmm. Alright. That was not a smart idea. Um You get back up. This whole crane idea was not one of my best ideas, and I'm willing to admit that. Come on, get up, get up. Other way. More power, all right. You know what? Let's do this the big brute way. It wants to be difficult, it wants to make life hard. Then let's make life hard. No more messing around, no more being Mr. Nice Guy. No more finessing your way there. Stop your engine, Pacific B-16. You're up. No more Mr. Nice Guy. Here we are. You. Until you. Pull the winch. Why am I not rolling? Is that really why? Because of that darn trailer? Can't be. It's really pulling me down.
At this point, I don't care if the scout truck falls off. I mean, the scout can save itself, and otherwise we'll bring the P-16 down once again. I just want to have that trailer out of there. And here we go. Oh yeah. More power. And it's basically just a lack of grip. Now what good is diff lock if your diff is not locking? You know? Let's get going. Come on, Brutus, my boy. We are out of here. See? That's how you do it. I'm just gonna drop this off at the garage for now. Just no words. No words. Nothing. See you guys there. Right, as we arrive at the garage, I would like to detach everything and unlock and get everything free. Put you there. And don't put you in yet because there's still some more to bring. Change truck first, Scout 800. Just going to drive it off forwards. Which is surpri surprisingly not hurting anything. Alright, good, good enough. I'm happy about that. Then there goes the White Western Star. But first I wanted to check because last episode... We got this one, the best one of all. Best engine of all. Um, now it does improve the power to weight, but it also reduces also reduces the fuel consumption. Uh, let's see by how much. So, going around, it does 1.2, 2 point something, all will drive on 8, 6, 6.5-ish, six on a 7.4 on the turn, alright. Now let's check with the other one, 7.5 on the turn. Oh, oh, excuse me, oh, that's 6.9. Uh, you know, I think it doesn't really matter a whole lot. Actually, just sell that one. I think I don't think it really matters a whole lot. It's, it's a worthy upgrade. Actually, do you have any upgrade on... You have an off-road gearbox. Uh huh. You need a high range one, but that's in Alaska and then in Wisconsin. You know what? I want to check. Uh, balanced. What's the speed here? We have five gears. Not really much of any upgraded upgradings on it. We're fairly slow. Right, then customize to the off-road before we sell it. 
We have a high range, we have four gears. And we have a low plus. Low plus and high range are basically the same. But speed is about the same, so I'm going to keep the off-road gearbox. Um then to bring back the white western star. All right, you will guys, you guys will see me back at the garage again. All right, western star is back in. I am going to take away this heavy crane attachment. Not going to sell it just yet. Um maintenance trailer. Is it really maintenance trailer or are we going to go with maintenance frame add-on or are we going to go with the van body add-on because it has more repair parts um let me first check something E16. We need about 500 ish po points. Don't put it there. We need about 500 ish points. Um, then we need the van body. Because this one only has 300. So then we would have to do another trip. Um, I think this should be enough to get that GMC fixed. Yeah, I'm finally going to fix it. <laughs> Alright, it's 6 a.m. Let's get her going. Until that... Until we reach that GMC again. Maybe I should check for the best route first. Uh, GMC. Oh, that's not the best route. Island Lake. I think this. Yeah, just going there. Just gonna see how far we get there. Probably far enough. And then I think that's going to be our route for Island Lake in the future as well. No, oh, that just hurt the engine a whole lot. But no fear, because we have a van body add-on and we have more than enough repair points with us. And spare wheels. Um, to say that the GMC was useless to us, um... Yeah, how far it is, how far it would be useless at this point with all the upgrades that we've found and gotten. Not going to be able to give you an honest answer on that. Because I don't know the real answer. But! Dang it! So many hurt, hurt points. Hurt, hurt points. Yes, hurt, hurt points. Um, am I willing to go down here? To go this route? No, because it's just going to end up in the same place. And we are... Soldiering through it, though. We really are. Those tires are really, really good here. Dang. Okay. That was uh, unexpected.
But we're not there yet. We're not there yet. I mean, here's another ditch. <laughs> uh, and still we are moving. Oh, that's good. Yes, we're not fast, but we're getting there. And that's the most important one. It's the most important part about it. We are getting there. And we're not fast. Yeah. We have all the time in the world. Oh, no. Okay. That's... I agree with that one. That's a no, but... Uh, staying safe, that's always a good option. Um, connecting a winch when you're going through a part like that. Uh, I do prefer not to go low here, but should do it slowly. I'm doing it anyway. There, because those are tipping points. If you're not doing it slow, I know that. The game tries to trick me all the time there. And in my previous saves, it's uh, happened more than once. Let's say it like that. Uh, this is where we found the CK1500 and then we sold it eventually because it was guzzling gas like an alcoholic at a bar. during rush hour happy hour sorry uh, oh we're almost there actually almost at the crossing already did not expect that to go this smoothly I did not expect it to go this smoothly. Um, this looks like a crossing right about there. Just going to follow this path. See where it ends me. It brings me. Um, yeah. This is the crossing. Yes. Um, I hope that my truck will be tall enough not to sink into the mm, water too much. Oh, it's quite a solid floor here. I did not expect that as well. Because it's being run down by water the whole time. Oh, here we go. Here comes the deeper parts. But we're still going and my truck is still not drowning, so... And I agree. Let's keep going. <laughs> I prefer not to drown my truck. I also prefer my truck to... Oh, just... Just get. I would like this black thing to go. Not be in my way. Ah, new trailer, a service trailer. Oh, who would have thought? Lost bags. You know what? I'll just take that. are still almost there still soldiering on 
this truck, um, it seems to be amazing. Yes, I've put it in low plus, so that I can turn on diff lock when I need to, but... Also, I think that normal auto is a bit too much at this point. And low plus doesn't use as much fuel. We're going about the same speed, so might as well. It's almost up there. Almost say that it would be plain sailing going there, but I prefer not to jinx myself. And also, it's raining again. I do not like this game when it's raining, but it's always raining. It sounds, sounds a little bit like England. But in reality, it's Michigan. And we are climbing out of the water and there is the truck. Come on, come on, come on and bring it to Papa. Here we are. Uh, stop my engine and repair. To the GMC. And it's gone. It's gone. Why? Why? Why did it have to go? Why did it have to go? Anyways. Um, I'm going to leave it here. We have rescued our own trailer. We have found a maintenance trailer. And we have fixed the we have finally fixed the gmc so that one's no longer bothering me uh in an old save i would have just uh recovered this but i'm going to drive this back during or in between recordings because yeah what else can i do because we cannot we cannot recover in this series so I will be driving this back to the garage take off the van body add-on because it's really heavy and yeah this truck would be better without it also I can use this truck better without it but it's basically just going to be the same route, only uh, the other way. And still, I want to know if we're going to move on to the next map or the next area. Which area will that be? Please let me know. Let me know in the comments down below. And like, subscribe and all the good stuff. And I will see you guys in the next episode. Peace out.